And we're back. Hashtag Zone89 is what it's all about on the show today, you guys. And we're still with our astrophysicist, Nathan. And he's going to be showing us some um, three cool experiments right now. Yeah. So let's actually get into it. So what's the first okay. one? Okay, so the first one, uh, so the experiments I brought are just to show you sort of the important, one of the most important things in astrophysics and astronomy. Okay, cool. And so I've got three little experiments to show it. And this first one is very technically... Uh, I impressive. <laughs> what I have here is we're going to show the Doppler effect okay, and what cool. it is, it, this is a speaker on a string and so okay. what I want you to do is just turn it on and then just whirl it around. Okay, cool. Ooh, that's such a beautiful sound. It sounds like Laurie Ann singing kind yeah. of. And so, <laughs> <laughs> so you can hear how that pitch is changing, right? Yeah. The reason why that pitch is changing is because sound's a wave and uh, when you're, it's moving towards or away from you, the wavelengths get compressed or expanding so yeah. it goes higher or lower, okay? And that's something that always happens with a wave. Yeah. Now what's neat with the Doppler effect is that if you know how, what the sound's supposed to be and you hear it, you can figure out how fast something's actually moving. Oh, wow. Sort of like how bats or, do, or submarines with sonar, mm -hmm. it's the same idea. Oh, okay, okay. cool. Okay, but yeah. before we get into yeah. the next one, I think that we yeah. should dim the lights a little bit yes. so that we can see yeah. everything clearly. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's get into what's that laser thing okay. over there? Okay, well, that's a laser. Okay. <laughs> and what this experiment is, is called Young's Double Slit Experiment. Young okay. because he was the guy who came up with it, and Double Slit because we're doing two, we're shooting, the, going to shoot the laser through two, two slit. tiny slits. Okay, cool. The reason wh what this experiment shows is it's meant to show how light's actually a wave. So if light was a bunch of particles, imagine it's a whole bunch of tennis balls and you're yeah. throwing them at a couple slits. They're just going to either bounce off or go straight through and you're yeah. just going to get end up with a point sort of on the wall kind of like that one, yeah. right? But if it's a wave, you get something a little bit different. So let's just show you, this is it through there. So this is, now it's going through two slits. And yeah. Instead of just a point, you have all these little different, uh, what are, diffraction points sort of things, all these little bright spots. And it's because these two waves, once it hits the slits, you get two waves coming out and they interfere with each other. Oh, okay. And so you would never get this if light was a particle. You only get this because light is a wave. Okay. So Young's theory you just proved that. Yes. Yes. Okay, light cool. is a wave. Okay. Okay. So this here is the last experiment. Okay. okay. So this complicated, scary looking thing. That's just a sodium lamp, just okay. like a street light, right? Okay, cool. Looks nice and yellow and everything else, yeah. right? But, and what I have here, it's a very simple uh, piece of equipment. I have a little telescope. Okay. Um, and a little scope here with a little uh, camera that's connected to my laptop here so that we can see through. Okay. And then I have this, which is the most important part of the whole thing. In fact, okay. uh, there's a lot of people who say this is the second most important thing in astrophysics other than the telescopes. Uh, okay. okay, so what's it called? It, this is a diffraction grating. Okay. It's got, so there we had two slits. Here we have a whole bunch of slits. It says 300 slits per millimeter. Oh, wow. And it works just like a prism. So when we put this here mm -hmm. and we're looking through, uh, and we look through, it's going to break the light up into a spectrum. Yeah. So what I have here, I've got it connected to my camera, or I've got the camera connected to, to my laptop, laptop. Yeah. and if you look on the laptop and if it's on this screen there, oh, fingers crossed, mm -hmm. you'll see all these different spectral lines, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, so apparently we're just popping okay. by here because there's a... Yeah. So the thing is with these spectral lines okay. is that they are unique to sodium. Oh, okay. okay. So this pattern of lines that you're seeing is completely unique to sodium. You won't see Let me just turn else. this so our yeah. viewers can see what we're looking at. Yeah. Okay, right there. Yeah. Uh, see if that's there. There. Go back. Okay, okay there. cool. There. Okay. Is that showing up? Okay. So, um, turns out all sorts of elements and molecules all have their own unique spectrum. Okay. Okay. So when you see a pattern like this, we know that sodium's there. So when we look at a star, if we see that, sodium's in the star. Oh, okay. Um, if we see a pattern like uh, some other molecule, we'd know that's there. Now... So this pattern is unique to sodium? sodium. Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. Um, so, the thing is, is that 
like I said, unique to sodium, but earlier I said lights a wave mm -hmm. and it undergoes the Doppler effect because that's what happens to waves. Okay. So if uh, we see this pattern, but it's moved and the color is shifted a bit, say it's a little bit more blue, okay. we know that the thing is object is moving towards us. And if it's oh. more red, it's moving away, away from us. Okay. So this is why this is so important is because with this, suddenly instead of looking up and go, oh, there's this thing and this thing and they're there, now we know what the what a star is made out of, yeah. what a galaxy is made out of, and we know how it's moving towards and away from us, and we can start doing science and start measuring oh, wow. things. So much more insight. Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Nathan. Thank you guys, Nathan will be with us to answer some of your science-related questions, so be sure to hit us up using the hashtag ZoneH99. <laughs> Hectic.